YSK the difference between a glass top resistive electric stove and an induction stove. YYSK stove types have become a bit of a touchy subject in the US lately. And I've seen a number of threads where people mix up induction stovetops and glass top resistive electric stovetops. This is an easy mistake to make. As the two types look virtually identical images of two random models pulled off the internet. Dot. The way they function however is very different. A resistive glass top electric stove is not much different than a classic coil top electric stove. Except the heating elements are hidden behind a sheet of glass that is easier to clean. When you turn on the burner, you can see the heating elements glowing through the glass. An induction stove uses a magnetic coil to generate heat inside the pot or pan itself. As such, they are extremely efficient and very fast since the heat is generated very close to the food. And nowhere else. If you turn on an induction stove with no pot present, nothing will happen. Also, only steel or cast iron pots pans will work. The material needs to be ferromagnetic to be heated no copper aluminum since heat is generated by repeatedly flipping the magnetic poles in the pot. I've seen several people dismiss induction stoves because they thought they used one before and had a negative experience. More than likely, they used a resistive electric. If you didn't buy the stove renting an apartment, you likely used a resistive electric as they are much cheaper than induction and a popular choice among landlords. In my personal experience, induction uses almost half the energy and can heat food almost twice as fast as resistive electric. It also generates less heat in the kitchen which is nice for hot days. Thank you. Now, I know my apartment has the resistive electric stovetop and I always assumed it was induction. Gotta keep in mind when I'm buying new pots pans. Just so some of you know, if you grew up poor or with parents that never bought anything new both for me an induction stove is not something that would be common knowledge. I just learned they existed last year. I recently got an induction stove. It's so trippy with how fast it heats up I am still getting used to cooking with it to make sure I don't burn my food too quickly. If you boil a pot of water, then remove the pot, place your hand on the hot plate. If it is uncomfortably warm it is an induction stove. If your hand starts sizzling and it starts stinking, accompanied by unbearable pain, it is a resistive stove. Edit typo. Indication stove. PFFFH. The fact that it doesn't heat the kitchen is actually proof that it uses power watts heat more efficiently. Any time an object emits heat, that means a power consuming process is at play. Heat as a byproduct of work is wasted energy unless you can harness it. Just an FYI you cannot have an induction stove if you or anyone in the family has a pacemaker do to the electromagnetic field. I've had an induction range for years and absolutely love it. It is so much faster, cleaner, safer, and more efficient than gas or traditional electric. I'm shocked it hasn't taken over the industry because it's superior in nearly every way. I never realized how much of my life was being taken up by cleaning the stove until I got an induction cooked up. I don't even know what to do with all the time I've saved because now all I have to do is take a dishcloth and wipe off the top of the stove. The induction makes it nearly impossible to burn anything onto the cooktop so there's no scrubbing, scraping and fighting with stains. I'll add with induction if you have a boil over it will not burn onto the glass. Easy just to wipe up. Always looks brand new. Somebody watched Technology Connextras today. Coming from a developing country, electric stoves seem to be top of the line for me compared to gas stoves. Wasn't even aware there was a distinction until a friend brought it up a few days ago.
Interesting read as I've never heard of an induction stove. This post reminds me of a funny story that my daughter told me when taking a high school home. Economics class. She had never used a glass top electric burner before and thought since the burners were enclosed. She could place the food directly on was making breakfast and cracked some eggs onto the burner. Only to see them slide off and down the front of the stove. She was so embarrassed. I live in a rental with a terrible electric range but bought a control freak induction stand alone. Burner the year they went retail. How amazing it is to be able to dial in a temperature and then your pan actually gets that hot. Makes frying in a Dutch as easy as pie. Just took our gas out after I accidentally turned it on twice in the middle of the night. I went with induction and I'm very happy. Just as fast as gas. With no fears of blowing up. You can buy an induction burner from Amazon for under $60. Stove tops are a touchy subject in the U.S.? Why? I like my tools to feel good, work great, and thrill me when I use them. A well-balanced hammer. A precise saw. My beautiful sharp chef's knife. Even after years I am thrilled every time I use my induction range. No one is going to accidentally buy an induction range. They're so much more expensive than a glass top range. You wouldn't buy one if you didn't intend on getting one. I've been looking into this. As I'd like to move to induction eventually. My favorite set of pans is stainless steel. But they have a thin layer of copper on the bottom which is sandwiched between layers of stainless steel. Am I correct that they would not work with an induction stove? Induction just sounds hella cool. I think it's one of the first times I was wowed by technology and was like damn we're living in the future. I've had my induction stove for years and will never go back to anything else but it's so efficient and most things cook far quicker than electric or gas and it cleans up great since nothing can get or burnt onto the surface. Thank you. Very good info. I've used both types and still don't like induction. I use a lot of cast iron and heavy pans and I hated worrying about damaging that cooktop on. Either kind if I slid those heavy pots a little bit. I love my cast iron grates on my gas stove. I don't have to tiptoe around my cooking surface. I may go to induction in our next remodel. We have gas now. I do worry about cast iron scratching the surface though. Thank you this was super helpful. Louvre my induction cooktop. It's super easy to clean. Heats up incredibly fast I can't imagine going back to any other cooktop. Not all stainless steel works either. I remember seeing a single element unit that could heat aluminum, copper, and all stainless steel pans. But it was either a prototype or like $3,000. It's been a couple years. I love my induction stove. I love my induction stove. Just waited 10 months to get our induction stove. Loving it so far. It's a range. It's called a range. Yeah also the price is probably going to be twice as much. But induction is where it's at. One can buy a special induction compatible burner plate thing that you can then put under any pan. That doesn't work with. So if you have some favorite pots that aren't magnetic. My last two stoves have been induction and I will never go back. They heat as fast or faster than gas. But you can still put stuff on top. Gently. Like a countertop as it is flat. A full pot of water boils in 2-3 minutes. Also be aware that people with pacemakers should not come close to or operate an induction stove as the strong magnetic field can interfere with their pacemakers. So inductive stoves would not work with clay pots? I'll second this. Just moved to a house with inductive stove and we love it. Water boils so fast. And no worries if you accidentally leave the stove on.